you most likely clicked on this video because you want to know what can I say? What can I do? How should I be acting to keep a woman interested in me for the long haul, to keep her coming around and wanting more and more of me? But what you have to realize is in order for this to happen, you have to have something that she wants. And there's a lot of things that women want from us men. So I'm going to go over five ways you can keep a woman hooked today. The first way you can keep a woman interested in you for the long haul is by having a life outside of her. Now, we always talk about purpose and mission and goals, but this is crucial when it comes to keeping a woman hooked onto you and wanting to see you over and over again. See, what most guys do is they accommodate and fix their schedule, especially when they like a girl, to make her happy. They try to do things and say, well, I'm going to cut off uh, going to the gym. I'm going to cut off my friends. I'm going to cut off working on this project. I'm going to cut off going to, uh, to work for overtime and making more money just to spend time with her. But what that's doing is backfiring because she's going to say, man, I miss the old you. And I'm like, baby, what do you mean? I thought everything was going well. I'm doing everything you wanted me to do. Who's heard that before? Who said that before? I, I tried to do everything you want. What's wrong? And you know, in her mind, she's thinking, that's not what I wanted you to do. I just wanted you to be you. I just want you to continue to do what you were doing prior to us getting together because that's what attracted her to you. You doing what you're doing. You having a purpose. But when you start cutting down on your purpose and you try to be with her, who's she going to cheer for? Who's she going to support? You're supporting her. So make sure you have your life in order and you don't cut off anything just to appease and make her happy and comfortable. The second way you can keep a woman interested in you and hooked for the long term is by not revealing how you truly feel about her, especially in the beginning of any situation you're dating, you're just got together, you're hanging out, having sex. Don't expose your hand. Okay. Always think of women like you're playing poker because she's always holding her deck and she's doing what she got to do to get whatever she wants out of the situation. And you have to do the same. See, most men think, and I've been there in the past, that if you profess your love, you tell her, I love you, I care about you, and you write all these poems and you spill your guts and write long text messages, that man, she's going to stay with me. Yeah, that's how logic people think. That's how us men think. But when it comes to women, they're illogical. They run out of emotions and they need constant stimulation. So that means she needs to understand, I don't know where this guy stands with me. I don't know how he feels. He's mysterious. We're just hanging out. We're hooking up, having a good time. Uh, does he really like me? Does he think about me? Uh, is he talking to other women? Am I, only, am I the only girl? Is it other women in the picture? So when she starts thinking about all this stuff, this is what's going to cause her to get hooked on you. Also, don't try to commit to her right away. Too many guys do this. The sex is good. The, uh, she's cooperating. The vibe is great. And then you say, man, hey, baby, I want you to be my girlfriend. Listen, what does it matter if she actually is your girlfriend and you say, I want to commit to you? It means nothing because you're not going to get any other benefits out of it. You're still going to get the same sex. You're still going to get the same woman. She's going to show up. So you actually being in a committed relationship with that woman, you telling her you want to be with her really means nothing because it's just the title. The only thing you should be concerned about is just having a good time. So when you do this, she can bring up, hey, um, do you want to be together? And you can choose, hmm, should I hire this woman or should I just keep her on 90 day probation and say, hmm, let's just see how it is. But you don't want to have this one eyed mindset because when you want to commit to a woman really fast, she's going to think this guy doesn't have options. He doesn't have a life like that. And women want to be with the guy who other women want. She wants to wonder, hmm, does this guy uh, want to be with me? Or is he seeing other women? Is he sleeping with other girls? So she can become more attached to you. Number three, and this one is very important, underrated as well. Most men do not take advantage of the times that we're in right now. Things that are going on around the world. Most people are in the house, especially if you're in a cold weather area. You can say, hey, let's start a season on Netflix or Hulu or HBO or Firestick, whatever the case may be. 
And when you start that season, make sure it's interesting and exciting and make sure it's at least five, six, seven, ten seasons. So that way she can continue to come back and want to hang out with you. You can start something and watch maybe two, possibly three episodes when she comes over. You can hang out, have some dinner, have some takeout and hang out, have sex. And after that, she goes about her business. Then that will keep her invested in you. Because once women watch shows, they love uh, staying consistent with something. So she's not going to go home and pick up and watch the show wherever you guys left off. She's going to wait around and say, hey, when can I see you again so we can continue where we left off? And then you can invite her over again, watch one or two more episodes, three more episodes, and then hang out, hook up and continue to do it again. But you must get women invested in not just you, but a show, a season, and make sure it's something long. Don't do like one or two seasons and then she's like, okay, well, that, that's it. Make sure you're watching something that she can think about. So then when she texts you, hey, what are you up to? You can say, oh, I'm doing great. Hey, let's continue where we left off. Come on over. And she'll say, oh, okay. So she'll have something to do, hang out with you and not just have sex, but she'll have a movie or show that she can continue to watch with you and invest in. Number four, and here's what most men go wrong when they start dating and seeing a woman. The sex is good, they're having fun, and then they're hanging out one night a week, let's say Thursday evening. Then a couple weeks go by, then she says, hey, uh, can I come over and see you again? Then now it's two nights out of the week. Then let's say a couple months go by, then she's over three nights out of the week. And all the while she's continuing to bring stuff over. What you need to do is have a boundary for a woman. Have some sort of schedule. Do not have a woman over your place. No more than one to two nights per week. Because what's going to happen is she's going to take you for granted. She's going to get bored. She's going to say, hmm, well, this is getting stale. She's going to drift off to a guy who she only sees maybe one night a week. Okay, yeah, it sounds crazy, but this is how things are with women. You must keep your distance because that's going to cause her to do whatever she needs to do. Maybe she wants to see other guys. Maybe she wants to do this. But then you can see other women. You can hang out, do this. You can do that. You can focus on your business and school, but you're not giving her all that time and energy. This is how arguments and debates start when you're with a woman and she just sitting down, hanging out on your couch and it's during the day. You guys are sitting down. Then guess what? She's going to need that stimulation. So she'll start to pick fights or arguments. Okay. This is why less is always more. Less time, less effort, less energy will keep her excited and hooked and wanting to come around and hang around with you more and more and more. But the more days you give her, the more nights you give her, and you try to have her move stuff in and do this, she's going to take you for granted, unfortunately. So limit the time that you spend with women. This will cause her to want to see you and get hooked onto you. Number five, she must prove that she's not a liability, that she's not an inconvenience or a headache. See, what most guys do, they get really excited. They're hanging out with a girl and they're dating her and they start treating her and taking her out all these different places, taking her downtown, taking her to this place, that place, organizing different events every single weekend. But what you're doing is you're spoiling her. You're laying a groundwork. You're saying, this is how I will treat you. And this is the expectation you should have of me. So then you're going to be breaking out your wallet, spending all this stuff on her. And then when you don't want to do it anymore, when you just want to have a night in, she's going to say, wait a minute, aren't we supposed to go out? So if you want to keep her hooked, keep the expectations very low. She must earn her right to a dinner. She must earn her right to an outing. And by earning, she must continue to have consistent sex. She must be cooperative. She must not be flaky. She must have a good attitude. And you reward her every two to three months. That's the time window. Not every two to three weeks. She must be consistent every two to three months. It's kind of like an employee, right? A job, you do what you're supposed to do. And then after that 90 days or after that six months or a year, you get a raise. And that's what it's going to cause you to want to continue to work for that company. You're the company. So every two to three months, that's when you take her out somewhere. You both do something that's fun. And then that goes by another two, three months. You do it again. 
but stop treating her and giving her raises every week, every weekend and, and, and just say, here you go, here you go, and give her all these gifts and prizes and, and all stuff like that. Relax. Understand you're a company. This is a business that you're operating and she only gets a raise. She only gets benefits as long as she continues to show up to work on time. She cooperates. She does things around the house. She runs errands. She washes dishes, whatever she needs to do. But she must continue to show you that she's a viable employee, that she's reliable, that she's not going to give you problems or issues. This is what's going to cause her to get hooked on you because she understands I got to work for Darius. I got to work for this guy in order to get whatever he has. Thank you.